YouTube, how's it going? Frogs Angels is back already because we had some recent big news. I'm sure you all know about it. But Teddy Bridgewater traded from the Jets to the Saints. First brought to my attention by our very own Danny Provolone. Uh, you can follow his Twitter, link in the description. Go check it out. But Teddy Bridgewater, the Saints, you know, I, I had to make a video right here. I, I, I had to talk about it. We heard he could be traded in the, in the recent past. Didn't really expect the Saints to come into play. But now that it happened, it, it kind of makes sense. Kind of makes sense. So I want to break it down. That's really what I, what I want to do here. So what I'm hearing, it's a third-round pick going to the Jets for Teddy Bridgewater. And I, I think he's worth a third-round pick, you know. If you're not familiar with the channel here, we I started covering the draft first, and that's probably my that is my favorite thing to do is cover the draft here, and we call all all NFL now. But I was very high on Teddy Bridgewater coming out of Louisville, so pro ready, very accurate, good vision, good in the pocket, and he was very mobile too and smart with the ball in his hands, and he wasn't one of those guys that was mobile first and passer second. Rare rare guy that was a passer first and a very good mobility second. So, you know, I was very high on Teddy Bridgewater, and then in his in his young years in, Min, in Minnesota, I think he kind of proved me right there too. You know, first season, starting a full season, he leads the Vikings to the playoffs, and that Vikings defense was very good, but it is no, it was nowhere near as good as it is now, and he didn't have the weapons that they have now on offense. Maybe the same names, but they weren't as good. Look at Stephon Diggs, Adam Thielen, they weren't as good as they are now, and he still led them to the playoffs. Throwing the ball and running the ball, very impressive. Then the injury happens. You know, it has been a while since the injury. You know, that could be a that could be a positive because, you know, maybe it was more a gruesome injury than some of these other guys, but these other guys come back and do it. Plenty of other guys in the NFL came back and do, done amazing things. So people say he's been out of football for this long, but, you know, there could be positives behind it. He went through this preseason, this training camp, Obviously looking very good, didn't get hurt. Saints and others liked what they seen. So it makes sense to me. You know, the Saints the Saints are a very good organization. You know, they've been successful for years because they're smart. They know what they're doing. You know, they had a quarterback like Drew Brees, uh, been able to, once they got him from the Chargers, they made him to even better than what he was. And he was very good on the Chargers too. They they developed him into this better quarter, elite quarterback, Hall of Fame quarterback. So they know what they're doing. Uh, not just with the quarterback situation too. They they went in, they they had their medical staff do what they got to do. They're confident with his injury. Obviously, you got to trust a team like the Saints. You know, I think you got to trust most teams in the NFL in this situation. And they're very confident he fits their offense, and that's what I'm thinking too. I, I think, you know, I, I think they give him an extension. And when they bring him in there first, you know, he's got to practice with them. They got to check that out first. But I think he ends up getting an extension with the Saints. That's why they traded a third round pick for him. Obviously. And I think he's the quarterback of the future. Now, why why is he worth a third round pick? You know, some people surprised that they they had to give up that for him. They won't have a first round la uh, next year either because of the Packers trade. But um, really, what quarterback can you get with a third round pick? You know, if you're going to go into drafting and get someone, you don't have a first round pick. You're not going to get a a near future starting quarterback in a second round pick. It's looking. The chances are looking lower and lower on that as we go on. You know, there's some darn good quarterbacks coming out, but they're overdrafted in their first rounders as it is too. So I, I think third round pick makes sense. He's still young. Really, the only negative is is that injury. But we know the Saints did their homework, and I like this move a lot. I, I think he can be the future quarterback there. I think he can learn from Drew Brees. You know, he has similar traits. Obviously, not as good as Drew Brees, but similar traits. But then he's very, hopefully he's still very mobile too. But he's a smart quarterback. That's my favorite thing about him. Smart and so, so accurate. I believe he had a record um, youngest quarterback to have, uh, to be that accurate completion percentage wise when he was with the Vikings. So very impressive. And I love this trade for the Saints. I really do. You know, I hope he doesn't get hurt, but I'm kind of sticking with my pre draft thoughts about him. I'm still very high on him. I think he can be a future starting quarterback. I think that's what. What he'll be with the Saints, unless something crazy happens. But I like this move for them. But let's talk about the Jets. They get a third round pick in return. They draft Sam Darnold. Um, you know, I wasn't super, super high on Sam Darnold. He, he's looking impressive. I knew he had good potential. Looking impressive pretty early uh, is impressive overall. And they pretty much knew they were going to start him. If you draft, or third overall, I believe, I might have said, said second there. But 
They drafted Sam Darnold third overall. If you draft a quarterback that high, and this has always been my opinion uh, on drafting quarterbacks that high, unless you're going to win a Super Bowl if you play him behind a veteran or he's playing behind a super good veteran and you're trying to contend, you start that quarterback. So the Jets situation is still in rebuild mode. They drafted a couple young defensive players last year. Um, they, they still got a little bit to go. They, got, they still got to rebuild through the draft. They get a third-round pick here. Sam Darnold's their guy. They start him now. He develops. He becomes better and better because he gets more playing time with the young talent around him that's going to be on the team for a while. And again, you get a third-round pick in return. I think this is great. You know that, That's why when I talk about winners in this, I have both these teams winning because the Jets were going to start Darnold anyways. Uh, even though I like Teddy Bridgewater, you know, if they would have, st- if the Jets would have started him, they could have had maybe a couple more wins than over Darnold. But it- they weren't going to contend anyways. So start Darnold, get him the experience, get him better. Like I said, I like Darnold's a- potential. He'll struggle right now, but to get to that potential, playing time, playing time is is key. You got to play those, you got to play those quarterbacks. I hate when they throw the young guys in in a bad situation after they already lost some games. You know, it makes no sense. So sitting behind, like, really good veterans and a contending team makes sense. But that's not the situation with the Jets. So I love the trade for the Jets, and I already mentioned I love it for the Saints. I think it could be their future quarterback. And people say third-round pick is too high. Well, all right, go next year, draft a quarterback in the third round. You think he's going to be as good as Teddy Bridgewater? No, he's not. He's just not. And you already don't have a first-round pick, so you can't take one in the first round. So I think it's really a steal, honestly, because – the chances of finding a good quarterback in third round are slim. I keep saying it, but that that's the reason I think they're a winner. And like I said, I I think the Jets the Jets are a big time winner as well because he was just gonna sit there unless Darnold got hurt, but he's young, no injury concern. It's the right situation. It's the it's it's the right it's the right move for both teams. But if I had to pick the biggest winner, you know, I'm always been a big Teddy Bridgewater fan coming out of Louisville, so you know I had to pick the Saints. I, I think he makes sense there. He, he he makes sense there for the future. We'll see if it happens. Uh, how many years does Drew Brees have left? He signed the two-year deal, so you would have to think somewhere around two years. So and he gets to learn from Drew Brees too. So it, it makes so much sense. You know, it'd be a, if you're a Vikings fan fan, which I happen to be as well here. Um, it's 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 gonna hurt a little bit. It's gonna hurt a little bit if Teddy just tears it up for the Saints, which I'm a believer in Teddy Bridgewater. So in the near future, if he tears it up. Uh, it may it may hurt a little bit, but you know that's what happens in the NFL. So yeah, I just wanted to get on here and talk about that real quick because I thought that was big news. You know, I you know I mentioned it. If you watched our videos, familiar with our videos, I've been a big Teddy Bridgewater supporter since Louisville. Loved his game. So uh, let, let's see if he stays healthy. Let's see if he gets the shot in the near future. Gonna be fun to watch. But the Jets they're gonna keep on rebuilding as they should. Uh, it should. I mean, it depends on Donald's growth, but uh, adding a third rounder in there is is big time. You know, third rounder to fill. Like I said, you're not going to find a starting quarterback as third rounder, but you can find a starting. You've seen the running backs that are going in the mid rounds that you start. They could use a running back of the future. They can use a receiver in there. Defensive player in the third round can start right away. It just it just makes sense for the Jets too. It makes so much sense because they knew they were starting. Everybody knows they were starting Donald. He's been on the first team for a few weeks, you know, the last couple weeks. He's been on the first team in practice, so it makes sense. But I just want to get in here and talk about it. Let me know if you think uh, which, if both teams won, if one team won, neither team, uh, who's your biggest winner here? They're both pretty even, even winners. I'm just a big Teddy Bridgewater supporter ever since the draft, so that's why I'm pretty excited for him, pretty excited for the Saints' future. If you're a Saints fan, you should be excited because, you know, don't be down because you weren't going to get – a late third round pick wasn't going to turn into a starting quarterback in two years. Just makes no sense. So, yep, that'll do it for this one. Uh, I Today, my recent video, if you haven't seen it, if you're new to the channel, I did a uh, NFL predictions video. As you can see, there's some divisions up there. I pre- I predicted the, the final placings in the, each division, not just those ones up there, every division. Then I predicted who will make the playoffs each seed, broke down each playoff round, predicting who would win those games, then predicted the Super Bowl. So if you haven't seen that uh, Yet, that video is on the channel from today. Our subscriber goal is 10K subscribers, so please help us get there if you haven't clicked that subscribe button. And we much appreciate it if you can click the like button on the video as well. We have a live stream every Friday. Starting up every Friday, we recently did our first live stream. It was a lot of fun. 
Uh, we're going to fix that up a little bit, make it better. We're going to do a live stream every Friday night, Q&As, football talk, all kinds of stuff. And then starting next week, we're going to have a, a consistent schedule. We'll keep you updated on that. Follow our Twitter, frogs underscore angels. And uh, in the description, we have uh, our pools, our pick em pools, free to join on ESPN. Just go click the links for college and NFL pick em's. You guys can uh, play against us, see who, who gets more picks right. Pretty fun, pretty fun thing to do, so go check it out. But thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. That'll do it for this one. Goodbye.